Hi guys, welcome to my channel of Holy Candelabra, or as I like to say, Holy Candelabra. <laughs> my friends keep asking me, why are you saying it like that? Because, I don't know, when I thought about it originally, I was like, holy shit. Oops, you can't say that on YouTube. Anyhow, so it was like, holy candelabra. So, if you found me, you've been looking for something and you've been also thinking about how to start your own shop, am I right? Because this is a channel for starting candle shops. So fingers crossed, you subscribe, hit the like button, hit that notification button, it really helps. And I will be posting one of these every week, same time, okay? So, before further ado, uh, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm Shara, I have the candle shop Holy Candelabra, links in the bottom. Uh, I started it about two and a half months ago. It probably is not, not probably, definitely is not as successful as my wildest dreams. Because you know, when you're in school, they tell you, reach for the stars and maybe you might just land on the moon. I definitely aim for the stars. But I mean, it's also not doing as badly as my worst expectations. So that's a plus, right? Anyhow, I, de start, I decided to start this channel because I've been getting a lot of can uh, questions about candle making from a few other people as well who are also very interested in some of the things I do and how to fix some of their problems. So I decided, you know what, I don't mind helping people, So, but it, answering all of these questions all the time over and over, like same thing, becomes a little bit tedious. So it's better if I have like a platform where I can just direct her, go have this I explained it properly I think I'm not a professional I started this out as a hobby but you know practice makes a little bit of perfect or as practice makes much better um, right so as I was saying five things you should know before you start your candle business okay so the first thing that you should always decide on is your name what do you want it to be called and be consistent so whatever name you choose you want to secure it as fast as possible because you're not the only person having this idea. I'm definitely not the first person having this idea. I had the idea and then I just jumped into it all willy nilly and crazy because I don't really think things through first, very impulsive. And then I went and did the research and was like, oh, wow, the market, the market is so saturated, but it's fun. And like they say, someone is always, someone else is always doing the same thing. So that shouldn't hold you back, right? But which means you need to grab your name and secure it very quickly. So you go to you, you go to YouTube if you want a channel, you get your website, Etsy, all of that, you know, social media. Have your name consistently the same everywhere. That way, if people are looking for you, it's not hard to find you. Okay? Now, number two, get a website. I see a lot of uh, people online and they're like, DM me to buy. I don't know if that works for them, but it doesn't feel like the most professional uh, angle. Of course, you can just start locally with like your friends and close family and whatnot, but I feel like DMing you to buy, it's not gonna evolve much more than that. So either get a Shopify website or go on Etsy or Amazon or all of that. Amazon also does um, handmade stuff now. It's their handmade market. I'm on there actually. I will link that below for you so you can see as well, okay? Number three. Oh, by the way, I know like people try eBay as well over Amazon, but uh, I, I haven't had the best experience on eBay, so I'm definitely not suggesting them. But yeah, Amazon Handmade Market as well as Etsy, pretty good. Your own website, definitely always the best option. Okay, now number three, get a professional Instagram account. Don't just start doing it from your old one where it would like all your personal stuff. I mean, like I said before, if you're just aiming to sell to like your friends and family, fine. But if you want this to be a business, set it up properly. And by setting up a professional Instagram account, it will automatically set up a professional Insta uh, Facebook page for you as well. Okay, so all of that is combined. And I was pretty resistant to TikTok at first, but TikTok also works. I've seen it working for a lot of people. I'm just like, Dear God, when is TikTok going to go viral for me? <laughs> I've had one sale from there so far and it's not easy to track. Uh, I use Shopify so you can track everything. But what I did was I put a discount code in my TikTok page and one person used it. So I know for certain I have one TikTok sale, okay? Don't forget Pinterest. Like 
I just put a video on Pinterest like two days ago and it has over 17,000 views. Stupid thing is I didn't put a clickable link, otherwise it would have been even better. Yeah? So Pinterest can really work. I mean, you kind of have to work at it for a while. Pinterest is like consistency and then it starts working, but it works. Um, number four. This one is one I did not follow and I keep kicking myself, but it comes back to that whole impatient impulse of things. A lot of people, like when they think about starting, they'll probably go like Candle Science in America, um, whatever other tiny candle stores here in Canada, as well as Amazon. It's the quickest one. Like I got all my stuff on Amazon and it was crazy, hella expensive, but it was fast. Like they delivered everything within like four days, right? And it was... Like I had the idea, <laughs> I had the idea like the previous Thursday and by the following Tuesday, I had everything I needed to make candles. So it was fast. Like I said, I'm impulsive. <laughs> but the thing about that that I regret is, so I lived in China previously and I'm fairly familiar with like Alibaba and AliExpress. I don't know if you've heard of them. I will include a link for AliExpress there. I feel like if you're gonna take this as a business, have some patience, you know, plan everything out, especially to lower your overhead costs. Of, I would suggest you buy all of your moles and all of that from AliExpress. They come from China, so they take they take a few days more than normal, uh, somewhere between two to four weeks. Um, it lowers your overhead costs like extremely. Like I bought two moles on Amazon for like uh, thirty dollars, and then. I found them on AliExpress for like three dollars for one. So it was like, holy shit! I should have been more patient. I keep forgetting YouTube bans words like this. Yeah. Uh, so that's one of the things I'm really suggesting, and I hope you take into account. Of course, you can't get everything all of AliExpress because it's not smart to get like a wax, for instance, right? This is gonna melt along the way, especially during the hot seasons or if you're in a hot country. So get it locally. Source it locally. And find many different people compare and get the cheapest one color you can probably get off of amazon and one off of not amazon sorry off of aliexpress it'll probably be fast so be better for you cost wise it's not fast but and it won't melt so that works as well okay now the last thing i want to tell you is be social you're just starting out, nobody knows you. <laughs> I mean, it's a terrible thing to say to someone, nobody knows you. It's like saying nobody knows you, nobody cares. The truth is, it really is the truth. So I don't know for everyone, but I am in a new country. I I just moved to Canada like a year ago. I don't have any family here. I was been, it has been very slow making friends. So <laughs> because of the whole pandemic so I've pretty much been online being social right but if you have a lot of friends and family around you of course they're gonna be the first ones buying from you but that is not to say that people online won't buy from you it's just be you need to interact with people don't be shy to let them know hey I'm starting a candle shop you know post it on your Facebook page post your stuff in Facebook market because I swear to you my first four sales were from Facebook market locally and then they came and pick it up. So that works as well, right? I'll post it on your Instagram, let people know about this. And then once you have your professional page, obviously nobody knows who, who this candle making shop is. So you wanna show your face, you wanna talk to people. Also just reach out and genuinely like and comment on people's stuff, start up conversations, you know? You're not doing it just so they can buy things from you, although, it's a salesy position, so obviously you're your own salesperson, you want them to buy, but you're not gonna be like, hey, come buy stuff from me now. Be genuine, be nice, right? If they like your stuff, they will check you out, come buy stuff from you, right? They'll also follow you like that as well. This which brings me to the other part of that be social thing. I know a lot of people are against the follow and follow thingy. It doesn't really work. In fact, it really doesn't work. You have to have a strategy of it. Don't randomly follow. I'm not against it. Don't, just don't randomly follow and unfollow people you follow people who are in your same niche, right? I don't know if you know anything about niche marketing. Marketing, we can go into that again in another video, but you want to follow people who are interested in what you're already promoting. So you're selling candles. You're not gonna go on like a Cosmopolitan 
and start following the people following them because they haven't expressed the slightest interest in candles. They're following a magazine. <laughs> you get my drift, right? So maybe you find another candle shop and then you're like, I know it's really bad. <laughs> you go start interacting with their people, like they're the people following them because they follow them because they have an interest there. I'm not saying you follow them, maybe you follow them, maybe you don't, but you like their stuff, comment, start conversations, they will come back to your pages eventually. Even people seeing your comment will be like, who is this person commenting there? And come back to your page eventually, okay? So that's all for today. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. Message me on Instagram as well. Like I answer a lot of questions there. Um, at Holy Candelabra, just check my Instagram on my page. I will put it below as well. And uh, leave a comment. I will reply. I'm very new, so I have nothing but time to reply to you, right? Um, take advantage of that fact. And I hope you guys have a nice day. See you next week. Don't forget to smash the like button and follow. Bye guys.